Spotlight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Whoa. Whoa! We got a little party girl in the house. What's up, party girl? What's up? It's a sad day for you, James. Why? Uh, one of your faves. One of your uh, go-to TV shows that you like to watch on, is it Bravo? Probably. 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 What's happening? The Chrisleys. Not Bravo. It's USA. Is it right? really? USA. USA. Uh, USA, huh? You're welcome. Really? I didn't know that was a USA Filled show. Filled with useful knowledge. You know who else was on uh, USA? Megan Marks. Markle. Mm-hmm. What up, girl? Boots. Was it Boots? Who? Was the show Boots? They all wore... Suits. Oh, nope. suits. Yeah. Suits, suits. I thought... Nope. Just uh, off, by, off by two letters. Confused. They thought sounding very like... similar, though. Very boots. similar. Uh, Chrisley knows best. Well, apparently... Chris Lee does not know taxes because he <laughs> just got arrested for tax evasion. Him he and the wife thought he knew better. Legal wire yeah. fraud, mm-hmm. a bunch of other shit. Um, which well, there was something going on with them. And twelve accounts or twelve counts, by the because way, because they used to be. I mean, they, when they started the show, mm-hmm. they were mansion in Atlanta, like the nice yeah. area, yeah, yeah, yeah. gated. I mean, yeah. huge house. They were wearing. I mean, they were Prada. All of it was that was their thing was that they were super rich, very like had very high end taste. Yeah. And then as the show went on, they sort of downsized in Atlanta a little bit. And they're like, okay. And then they moved to Nashville. Okay. okay. Uh, smaller, right. smaller, smaller. Sure. Houses uh-huh. and cars and things like this. And you're kind of like, okay, so what? But they didn't really address anything that happened. They just sort of. It moved moved into smaller and smaller places and from a production standpoint it doesn't make any sense to move from georgia to tennessee because you're going to lose absolutely. that that tax credit absolutely and the tax credit on production is huge so i didn't know if it was them losing money or running from something but gosh i don't this know is why, here so this here's why i watch here's what they're saying and by the way he's not gay he's just from atlanta yes um, I want to clarify that with the audience in case you were like, hey, is Todd Chrisley gay? No, no? he's just from Atlanta. He's just from Atlanta. Um, you know how that goes. Yeah, very soft accent. Very um, soft. Uh, so anyways, they're, they're saying they're Southern not accent. guilty here because this, this is just coming in right now. Who's saying? Well, of course, they're saying they're not guilty. But 12 counts. I mean, they got to have something. Yeah. They're gonna have a little. Uh, uh. They're gonna have a little. Uh, uh, uh. So Chrisley Todd is alleging that his employee uh, whom he's not naming, was stealing from the family. He created false documents, uh, forged their signatures, and bugged their home. Chris Lee said it's the second attempt to get the family charged and called it an act of retaliation. I never knew what he did on that show. No. I mean, it was some kind of, they sort of alluded to, like I said, when they first started, and they were all super, super rich. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was some, I guess, real estate. He was some kind of real estate person. Ah. Had some kind of commercial real estate, whatever. Yeah. Then, as I said, as they're, you know, they started moving down, 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 slower and slower, going right. camping. Right. Instead of going to, like, the Four Seasons. Sure. Going on a fun camping trip. Isn't this fun, kids? And like, Well, they always do a, here's the thing. They always do a camping trip on all of these shows. Right, just because to kind of put them in a... In an environment where yeah. it's like there's no phones and you've got to work together and be sure. a family. Every single one of these fuckers that the Kardashians so have done it. They move to flipping very small houses. Okay. And so it's something also, with real estate. So here's the thing. Also a hot reality TV thing where everybody's doing a flipping house show, right? Yes. Uh, the Diz, the Disnick. Scott Disnick is doing I'm one. I'm excited for that. Y- yeah, but everybody's doing He's one, right? He's the best right? part of it. The Kardashians, for sure. And then you have that other chick who's just killing the game. Uh, the one who got cheated on and then divorced. Boring McBorerson? Whatever. On she's the coast? Hot. You know? Yeah. Boring what, what, girl what's her on name? the coast? What's her real name? It was Christina. Yeah. T- 
Tyreek and Christina, right? Tarek and Christina. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Um, he's just worthless. Trying to get, like, we need him out of the real the, information. The, but yeah, yeah. Nah. no, that's fine. I, Tyreek yeah, sounds better, doesn't whatever. it? No very fact checking. S- sounds sexier, doesn't no it? No name's going to be right. Sounds very urban. You won't even be able to Google it, guys, because we huh? won't even say the right thing. Don't need to. Uh, you can just Google hot blonde knocking down houses, and I'm sure you'll find her. The thing about them is they were divorced, right? Mm-hmm. They made them do their, their show and finish out their contract. I don't know if they made them, but yeah. No, they I think they, they did. have a lot of money, and their company is definitely together, and they were a company before. But yeah, but now she's got two shows, right? Yes. So he on her own, one with her new husband, Mm -hmm. and she's chunking out a baby, right? Um, giving birth. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's gonna plop one out. What? Oh. She's gonna plop out a baby and chunk one out. Chunking out a baby. She's gonna plop one out right on the floor. She's got three of those ploppers, right? Yep. (laughs) So what's one more? Throw another plop on the fire. Um, it makes again. Big reality TV move. Babies do really fucking well. That's why all these fuckers get knocked up. Kardashians, everybody. You need a baby. You need drama of like, mm. I'm pregnant. Because you've got to have that line in there of like, don't you understand I'm pregnant? Sure. And it's like, then the whole world collapses mm-hmm. and everybody's going to rally around her, mm-hmm. uh, which I get, right? Yeah. I understand it. Um, but since she's doing two shows, mm-hmm. what does she need Tyreek for? That's her other show, so... So she's doing three? No. She has her, sh- she has the show with Tarek, and okay. then she has the Christine on the Coast, which is with her husband. Got it. Okay, so she's only doing two. She's doing two. When's she then... going to get off the other show with the ex-husband? Because it's weird. The new show's with her new husband, and then what is she, she goes so, back to her old husband in the mornings, or how does that work out? Yeah, exactly. Um, if I was the new husband, I would not be worried at all about the old husband, only because they're dynamic is that of pure hatred oh yeah and awkward conversations yeah yeah yeah. but their company that they have together is more than flipping houses it's more than this show they do these um seminars which are like huge it's big it's big money um big big money so i think they're yeah. very very entwined with the christina and Taria. Tarek brand brand Got and it. um I think they both know that by themselves they will not do as well so for the kids for the family whatever you can't you can split it up I mean they, I'm sure contractually they could have stopped the show mm-hmm. but I think it has to my money 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 yeah man that's <laughs> and they're weird. for the kids and it's it's very awkward and I don't like it but I see how you could want to try allure. and make it work Financially. Financially. Man, you ever been one of those Christina. seminars? Uh, no. Fuck, they're boring, dude. Oh, yeah. I had to speak at one. One of those things. Not for house for flipping. House, no. No, for some other corporate they thing never, that they asked in a million me to, years to do. And it was ask like. you to do a house no, flipping one. No. Nah. And it was, what would you uh, say? It was in a Marriott. And uh, I was sitting in the back because you sit in the back and the wait to go on, right? Mm. Um, and every single person there. One looked hungover, like they had gone real hard at, at whatever the because hotel you, bar is. The trick, the, the, the dirty secret of seminars, right, uh-huh. is that when you go travel to do these things for whatever you know, line of work you're in, you get it taken off in your taxes. So you're not really there for the seminar. Got it. You're there to like make a trip around having to roll into these seminars for at least three hours. So probably not even everyone there stayed the whole time, correct? Uh, I, maybe, I don't, maybe not. You have I don't to stay know. a certain amount of hours. But anyways, you get to take off um, on your taxes if you're in real estate, if you're a doctor, if you have to do these like continued education things. Okay. So most of the time, they're, they're there. To, honey, 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 honey. So I will say this. Not, I don't think very many people out there any, because I, I said a bunch of weird shit on stage, big surprise, but... Um, uh, and I, I talked about how hungover and how it looked in their eyes like they genuinely didn't want to be there. Mm. And that got a big chuckle because none of them want to be there. Did. You're in like a, I think it was in like a Marriott or a Hilton or something like that. Uh, and it's just tables and the same cheese tray with awful salami. And man. And like a burnt coffee thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Soup's depressing. Mm-hmm. It's always the same. Crazy, right? So that's what they're doing. They're doing seminars. 
Yes, but they do by some. They're super I don't mean famous seminar. though, so like that's I mean probably Tony Robbins type stuff. So they they do the convention center here, and it is like completely. I mean, sold out, and everyone's there, not because they have to be, because they're learning. How to oh, flip to, houses and shit. Yeah. Buy right. dilapidated things, wear, buy, what, what, what. So yeah. um, they're more like a, like guru type people than it is just a seminar with no names. You know what I mean? That you have to do for your continued education. Right. I don't know what you call it, but the only thing I can think is seminar. What does Tony Robbins do? He's insp- like it's inspiring, like, yeah. Right. Inspiration and some, some all that other of, shit. Some kind of song. Yeah, mine was uh, very Long Island medium. I told everyone I was a medium when I got on stage. And then I asked this guy about his grandfather. And I said, uh, he's never loved you. And he was really upset when you were a small boy that uh, he caught you sniffing his bicycle seat after a 10-mile ride. Did you really do that? No, I did not do that. Okay. Um, Because you uh, never know. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? You tell a story like that, and everyone in this room believes that you did that. Uh, Sir, uh, I'm I'm sensing a Brian, because that's what your name tag says. Brian, Uh, B. your grandfather. Now, you had a grandfather, right? Yep. Okay. And it started with a G, right? Because he's your grandfather, obviously. Yeah, he caught you sniffing his huffy after a 10-mile ride July 18th in the summer of 1988, and he never got over it. One, he didn't understand why you were smelling it and what you were hoping to get out of it. Two, you went back and smelled it twice. Right. And that's nothing but taint, brother. Nothing but taint on that bike seat. Um, I didn't do any of that, obviously. Right. Uh, I did tell jokes. I was very... Humorous and light. Oh, fun. Yeah. It was fun. Um, fun. It was fun. Um, it, was about, it was my experience in the film industry, and it was fun. Oh, but, fun. But uh, it, it was depressing being there. Um, I felt depressed for all the, the people there, and uh, it was hard. It, like, I had to drink that one off myself, and I wasn't even, I didn't have to go back the next day, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, and you get those name tags that click on. Ooh, nice, fun. Yeah. Uh, I usually, yeah, I've only been to the sticker one, so that's fancy. Ah, yeah. I get, a, yeah. I get a little clip on. I only got a hello, my name is, right? Yeah. With the thing. <laughs> hello, my name is. <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, I'm over summer. Are you? Done with it. I'm all done with it. I, I am ready for sad boy fall. Yeah. I walked into no the studio today and you said to me, you look surprised and or confused. Uh-huh. That is the reason why when you leave your air conditioned house, um, Get in the garage, get in mm-hmm. your car, drive over the studio. Mm-hmm. The walk in is maybe be maybe ten yards tops. Sure, but uh, I very think it's a, maybe jarring. Be. Maybe be right. It's nice, very jarring. Hits you like really does a Where, punch in the face. Disorients you. Fuck. Mm-hmm. That's the way I felt in New York in the summers in New York when I got out of a cab oh, yeah. and I was just like, oh gosh. Oh yeah. Yeah. If we could be in a permanent state of fall, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, maybe a month of summer. I'm good for a month of summer. I think. Um, you know. Yeah, I think the first month I'm like, woo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then I'm tired of all my tank tops, <laughs> and I'm done with it. You're all done with it. I'm done with it. I have um said no more to the pool. Mm. Um, I send a me- message out to all the friends in the neighborhood, telling sure. them, do not ask me or yeah. my family to go to the pool. Anymore. Well, it closes down. Done. When is, is it September that it closes down? Maybe October. It's warm. I think here. October. So it goes all the way into the warmer where yeah. it's still warm. Man, I when football season starts, like college football so I just want it like I'm all good after that. Let's let's throw on some flannels and call it a day. Yeah, so what are you gonna be doing for Sad Boy Fall? Uh Sad Boy Fall? Yeah. Um I'm gonna be cutting this fucking hair. That's numero uno on this list. Mm-hmm. Uh we're getting rid of this mm-hmm. altogether. Um, we have a bunch of events uh, this fall and you're coming to New York. Um, you're God, you're coming with us on a lot of this actually. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsies. Sorry. I apologize. Uh, sorry. You know, you know, I'm super good at alcohol. <laughs> so get ready for it, baby. <laughs> She's coming in hot. Ooh, it's, this is what I do. <sighs> Subscribe on YouTube so you can see Jesse's uh, my my wine sipping coffee. on alcohol. 
Ooh, slash oh, it's so hot. Mm. Ooh, it's, uh, it's warm. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so Sad Boy Fall will be extremely busy um, with, with all the events and like all the live shows and everything we're doing. But uh, I am looking forward to just throwing on a, a nice long sleeve and some jeans and, sure. and calling it a day. Sure. Uh, I'm amped about that. I don't even mind the coats or the cold weather, to be, be real easy with you. I mean, my, my tune will change a weekend. Because one, one of the gigs you're going on with us is Penn State, Ohio State, and it's November 23rd. Oh, boy. In Ohio. So that one could be real cold. Ugh. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Have I been to Ohio when it was snowing before? No. I've been when it's very cold. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Bundled. When did we, we were filming? No, oh, that right. wasn't, was it? Yeah, but it wasn't that cold there. I don't it think. was Halloween time. Yeah, Halloween time. But right around Thanksgiving is where it's like uh, really uh, anyone's dips guess. Dips down. It's a coin. It's a coin toss of what's going to happen there. So, we'll and again, see. sad boy, uh, sad boy fall is very. It's genderless. It is. So of girls course. can have a sad boy fall as well, and it really is just doing everything. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> doing everything. Uh, the opposite of hot girl summer, right? Fall's my favorite time of the year. Why is why is this sad boy fall? Is this you just make this up, or is this a thing? I just made that up. Oh, okay, but, cool. That's so awful. So hot, hot girl summer. Yeah. Sad boy fall. Sad boy fall. Okay. You know I don't know. Yeah. Or uh, what? What? We workshop could workshop it. it. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't put that out to the general public right now. Big boy fall. Nah, not even close. Again, take that home. Um, work on it. Maybe uh, throw some names in a hat. See what uh-huh. you come up with. Uh-huh. But uh, do a focus group. Sure. See what your demo is for that because sad boy fall is not working. It might work. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Do you know what I mean? You can't force it. You nope. can't force it. You no, can't force it. No. No. Uh, because a lot of people are happy in fall. It's my it's my favorite season. And that's fine. So we're taking that home and uh you should take this home with you, by the way. It's out right now, everywhere. Thank you for my service. The book is out everywhere. And uh, the Olive Garden is booked. Well, we'll see if we make the New York Times bestseller list. You got to buy a hardback. Um, you got to buy a real hardback. Yeah. None of this audio, audio book stuff. Calm down with that. Calm I, down with that, guys. I'm gonna, that will you come. Know what? That will come. Since the book is out now, I'm going to tell the audience what the fucking deal is with all this shit, right? So we release hardback books only on Amazon because that, that, that a hardback gets you on the New York Times bestseller list. There's a separate section for hardbacks only. And they do it because it's costlier than, you know, paperbacks and ebooks, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, then they have an overall category that's ebooks, paperback, hardback combined, and audiobooks mm-hmm. combined. Mm-hmm. That category is tough to crack because you're dealing with like the Michelle Obamas and shit sure. like that, right? Sure. So as long as you qualify for one category, mm-hmm. you're good to go and you have a shot to get to number one or make the list. However, when uh, big publishing companies like Penguin or whatever, um, and they did this for A Night She Cries as well, they put out the fucking you know, pre-order of the audio book and, uh, and the ebook, and it's like, oh, hey, they're just trying to get as much money as they can. They don't really give a fuck about the New York Times bestseller list. It doesn't help them at all? It doesn't. And it, financially, it does. Um, I mean, financially, it helps them the other way uh, by getting the most money out of mm. a project that you can get, right, immediately. Right. But I just wait a week, man, because it's over after the first week. Exactly. So I, uh, if you're wondering why the audiobook is pre-order, and so is the ebook, that's why. They're just trying it's to... the publisher trying to yeah, get Yeah, their... but we want the fucking... New York Times bestseller list, yeah. you know? Wouldn't that be cool? It would be. It'd be rad. That's the goal, but guys. I, 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 I kind of understand like, why they do it. So this Michelle Obama book that we keep talking about was actually on the same label as ours. It was on Penguin Random House. And it is the highest selling memoir of all time now, by right. the way. Um, but they did all of them during pre-order, paperback included. So... They were just saying, fuck it. Okay. We're putting out all of these options at once. Because and then, they're like, fuck it. It's Michelle yeah. Obama. You know she's number two on the charts? 
we're not going to find out the charts until next week, but uh, she's still number two. And that book came out last Thanksgiving. It's insane. Crazy, right? Who knocked her off number one? Uh, ben Shapiro did. And oh, by the nice. way, you know when he found out was when we were at lunch with him. That's awesome. We were at his studio having lunch with him. It was like eight of us. And he was looking at his phone and he was like, I fucking did it. And uh, it was awesome. Um, but uh, the New York Times also has a, a, a little sneaky bitch way around uh, picking the ones that they want on there as well. Like there was a, an article that popped up yesterday about uh, Joy Reid, the, uh, you know, the black mm-hmm. host of uh, that MSNBC show. Conservative? Or AM no? Joy. Oh, no. No, she's not. She's no, su- no, no. super fucking left. Right. Um, however, she hates homosexuals. Sure. She was the one that uh, got popped for some blog she used to do back in the day, and she wrote, you know, 18 posts about homosexuals wrong in the eyes of God and all that other usual bullshit. And sure. uh, they still didn't fire her, which was weird. Um, can't believe that still to this day. Well. But they didn't, and apparently she's corrected herself. Um or has a different view now that she's making millions of dollars. Interesting. Whatever. Um, when her book came out uh, a few weeks back, uh, Tommy Lahren's came out as well. Same publication date, same week, same everything. Tommy Lahren outsold her by 600 copies. Um, it put Joy Reid on the, on the list and not Tommy Lahren on the New York Times bestseller list. So it's not just numbers. It is not. And... Um, well, here's the thing for Matt's, it's a military biography and that's a different story. Like okay. they're not going to, they're not going to shortchange someone like that. Um, okay. but a conservative host, like, you know, yeah, it's different. Like story. Tommy Lahren, yeah, it's a, it's yeah, a different yeah, yeah, story. Yeah. And, uh, I'm surprised that, you know, they, they let Shapiro win because there's a, there's a few that they haven't. Yeah, exactly. So, but he's a, he, yeah. Strange. Super, super strange. I think his, like you were saying, was undeniable. His numbers were just insane, right? Mm-hmm. And they were to the point where if you deny that and Shapiro goes on his show for all of his listeners and says, hey, man, here's what happened. The rage that would ensue would be massive. It probably, probably would have sold more books for him, to be honest, but uh, yeah. whatever. Um, so, uh, look, hopefully we get this slot, but we won't know for another week. But it is out everywhere now, so if you order it today, it will be at your house on uh, Amazon within 48 hours for free. And we can all celebrate together, taking yes. pictures and videos and posting. And then I did confirm with you last night, you were serious about the Olive Garden thing, which yeah. is really hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um, now I'm going to feel really sad if we don't make the New York Times bestseller list I and know. I don't get to go to an Olive Garden party. I know. With uh, friends and family. Yeah. So, <laughs> um. That's I'm going to be sad too. That's so going to be this sad boy is fall. Really on- yeah, that'll be sad boy fall right there if that happens. Exactly. So, so um, we need that to happen. Otherwise, because the, the irony of the Olive Garden needs to be, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It needs yeah, yeah, to yeah. be that you're a New York Times bestselling author. like At in, the Olive Garden. At the Olive Garden, yeah. not... Ross at the Olive Garden right, right, on a right. Friday. Yeah. Because that's B is you, that's, right? That's uh, business, business is you. Huge. And that's super depressing. So Sure. And so that's what I mean when I say sad boy fall. Sad boy fall, yeah. Because that could happen to me. We don't know yet. We could have a certain, you know, couple things that happen. If, 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 if we don't make it, I will if be I alone trafficked. at the bar. Right. Dipping my breadsticks in the Italian dressing because I, I do think, that. Yeah, you will that. be, and you will, I think, get the sangria um, carafe. Oh yeah, and drink straight out of the carafe. I Correct. believe. Correct. I will yeah. be Ubering to and fro Olive Garden <laughs> um, because I will not be able to drive home after that. Uh, to and fro. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> if the bar is full and they give me a table, um, I'm going to drink the Chianti and not. Do the honor system of how much I've drank. Ooh. Yeah. Sir, how many glasses Daisy. did you have? Uh, yep. One. It seems like you've had more than one. The nope, bottle's empty. You don't well, know me. The bottle is a glass. Me. The bottle's made out of glass. You don't know me and you don't own me. Yeah, get out of my face, Fredo. Just start calling everybody Fredo. Whoops. Yeah. Dumbest shit I've ever heard, by the way. I still can't get over that Chris Cuomo thing on CNN. It's stupid. Fredo is not. He's like, oh, it's the derogatory. No, it's not. It is not the same. No, it's a character from Godfather. That's it. Dumb shit. 
It's about I, the dumb brother. I think, yeah, and yeah, exactly. And who who was the first to say that? I think Trump. Trump Jr. Yeah, he was, he like, was take like, take it from me, trust buddy. Me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been called it before, and it's about you brother. being the dumb brother, not an Italian. Um, Cuomo. Yeah, but and look, Cuomo. if if anybody's gonna be at a a real Italian restaurant like that. I think there's Cuomo. no real equivalent to the N-word. Let's just Probably put not. that across the board. Yeah. That you, at the very least, are not allowed to um, <laughs> equate your Italian... Heritage. Your Italian uh, Ooh, hardships. We've talked about it on the show before. What do you want from me? Yeah, I'm exactly. Italian. Exactly. People take that shit way too fucking seriously. As soon as we did that show, I went out with my girlfriends to this restaurant and the guy, the um, waiter comes up. The first thing he says is that he's Italian. Oh, God. Are and you was, serious? Yeah, because they have to let you know. Did you? I'm Italian. No, that's just how we are. I'm Italian. It's like, what do you even fucking talk? I mean, that has nothing to do with what we were Tell saying. Tell me you stopped him. What? Did you stop him and say, hey, man, I don't, I'm not, this isn't fucking flying your bullshit right now? No. How I am on the show with you is a lot different than how I am in real life, which is non-confrontational. Very passive. Very passive. Yeah. Uh, quiet, shy, mm -hmm. boring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you didn't say anything to this fucking no, guy. I would just have listened to. His, I would have said, "What part of Italy are you from?" Yeah, exactly. You personally, like, when when did uh, you personally come over yep. from Italian? Do you remember Italian. the name of the boat that yes. you were on when you came over and set foot in America? Mm -hmm. Where'd you dock? Or plane? What was your flight number? Yeah, I mean, where, whatever. Where'd you, where'd you dock? Yeah. You know. Yeah. What port did you come into? <laughs> because it you seems know? like. What name did you use in Ellis Island? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? What fake name? Tell me. Tell me now. I want to go to the Statue of Liberty yeah. and look up your whole fucking like, family. Ugh. I want to look up your entire I mean, family history. I mean, my, gr my grandma. I think my, gran my great grandma. What's like, your grandma's <laughs> name? I want to look her up. Who's your grandfather? I want to go smell his bicycle seat. I want answers, goddammit. What do you want from me? I'm Italian. Right. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. So I was afraid of that happening, so I didn't. I would have ask if I was or there. Do anything. Oh boy! What, what, what <laughs> oh, was your boy. favorite Rocky? Huh? <laughs> Tell me, you fuck. Yeah, exactly. Was Rocky Italian? So it's Italian time. Come on, James. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. God damn it, man. Yeah. So <laughs> did they go back in time and Back to the Future? Yes, they did. What like, are you? What are, we, what are we doing? What are you? I don't, you know what's funny? I don't really know, and I've never really bothered to check. I know. Yeah. It's a thing. You don't care. Um, I don't care. And sure. I, so what, what I've been told is Irish, you know, but I've never been in Ireland, so I don't fucking know. Um, I, yeah, I enjoy Lucky Charms and Conor McGregor. So. I think you're a bit tall to be Irish. We're going to find out something else. We'll do, we'll do this. I know we, we've said this. We said this like a hundred episodes 100 ago. times. That but we it were going to do the 23 and no, Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a sale on it, so we won't do it. Yeah. Um, God, we, we really should do it just to get it over with and we do one show about to, it. Because you need to start acting like your heritage. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And really going full. <laughs> Whatever it is, I want you to just go full force. Again, I say it all the time. I am an American. I consider myself an American. Sure. Like, all of this shit is uh, it's, look. It's USA first in my my heart. Uh, my dick and balls is red, white, and blue. And uh, I I don't I don't waver from that. Like I'm not gonna root for another team during the Olympics. You know, another country because right. I might be from there. Sure. Yeah. Oh, my fucking 12th grandfather was a potato fucker over in Ireland. No, I don't care. You know? Okay. And he didn't care about me. Like, do you care about whoever your 12th great grandson will be? Or if that's going to be a thing? He's probably going to have robot legs. Yeah. But they'll probably just birth torsos and then, because uh, it's cleaner, smoother, you mm -hmm. won't have to get out of the bed and then just attach a couple robot legs to it and then boom, right. that's your baby. Do you care who that is? For real. I mean, no. I care about like uh, grandkids. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, I, but not great grandkids. We won't be alive. Right. We won't be alive for great grandkids. But you don't know. Grandkids. Yeah, we do. Science could really catch up. Science is not going to make us live forever. Me and you. I think maybe the next generations, but not you and I are 
fucking too far gone jack and rose you know i don't know door in the ocean mm-hmm. you're not going to give me a spot on that goddamn thing sure that's true no no yeah yeah, yeah. i'll be dead i'll be dead in the ocean mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. uh, but i think the next probably two generations after that that's when you're going to start getting into 3d hearts and uh things like that you know right. scentless bicycle seats mm-hmm. it's probably gonna become a big thing Mm-hmm. Um, after that guy, what happened to him and his grandfather? That is genitalia, uh, transplants, yeah, things like this. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, you want smoothless eggs down there? You know, that would be a nice surface. What on a on the ball sack? Oh, okay. Smoothless the egg, yeah, because oh, okay. they're not cute. And I, by the way, a smooth egg looking thing. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay. like a nice smooth egg and a same texture and everything. Where you're like, oh man, that's a nice feel to it. You know. Okay. Um, kind of like a racquetball. Um, the reason I bring this up is very specific, and it's pretty fucking crazy that he did this. So Whitney Cummings, the comedian, um, she was getting uh, out of the shower um, for something on her on her Instagram, aimed the camera a little too high, and accidentally caught like uh, one of her tits. Right, caught a picture of her tits, and then she deleted it within like thirty seconds, I guess. She's got a bunch of followers, like a gajillion followers. Mm-hmm. Wasn't fast enough. Because we all see it. And like as soon as you post it, you're like, oh, fuck, I post the wrong thing. But you don't it. accidentally do that, by the way. It was in a, it, she was talking in a, in a story, like her hair was in a thing. Like uh, this one, I think is totally genuine, by the way, for real. Um, because it, it was, either that or it was just a, a horrible angle. There's no way she would have done it on purpose. I, mm-hmm. I don't think, right? Mm-hmm. You can go back and look at the pictures. And the reason why I'm saying that is, Somebody online blackballed her and said, hey, I screenshotted this or whatever. And, um, you know, are you going to pay me? Are you going to fucking whatever? And she said, no, instead of being embarrassed by you, I'm just going to I'll post your fucking picture and fuck you. And then she put the text, this guy's text with her picture Mm -hmm. of her tit Mm -hmm. um, out on her Twitter. Because Twitter, you can post nudity. Mm -hmm. Right. And so people were like, oh, this is really funny. And it, you know, got a pretty big reaction on social media. And uh, so Bert Kreischer posted a picture of his nutsack. Um, and he said, look, here's it. Cause she was like, this is such an unflattering picture of me. I would not want this out there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show my tits. I, I would want it to be professional. Right. And Bert Kreischer was like, yeah, you want to talk about unflattering pics that are out there? He goes in solidarity with you. I'm going to show an unflattering picture of my ball sack. And it's disgusting. How? Um, absolutely disgusting. So, How do you get more disgusting than just any ball sack? I know Burt Kreischer. I love Burt Kreischer. Sure. I do not want to see his nutsack uh, for any reason different? whatsoever. It is an underneath shot. So he pulled up the sack from the bottom with his middle finger. Pull it up, Alec. You can, you can look at this. Um, he pulled it up with the middle finger and it looked like one of the balls doesn't have hair on it. Um, but the, the rest of it is a mess. Uh, like hair wise where... Look, women should never see a, a, a man's asshole, taint, or balls. We've said this before, and I'll say it again. Um, it is not flattering. It is quite disgusting. And if you go on Twitter, uh, you, you, it's, it, it'll, it'll be on his Twitter page. Um, that's, that's where I saw it. Uh, he, Alex said don't do it. He just pulled it up. Um, anyways, he's a really funny dude and does not give a fuck about anything. So... When I saw that, I died laughing, and I was just like, wow, bravo. I mean. Bravo. Are you looking at it? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nut sack. It looks like a dirty ball sack, dude. You know? Yeah. A dirty ball sack. I mean. No one should see that. That's what they look like. Yeah, no one, but no one should ever see that. Not the underside like that. Okay. It's like, it's like there's a reason why people haven't been to the dark side of the moon yet, you know? Right. There's something over there we shouldn't see. That's true. I don't know what that is. Right. China's trying to get there. Sure. So uh, we'll see. But that's, that's, uh, that's a scrote for you. Um, pretty standard. Yeah, stock standard. Looks standard. like he's on a bed. I wonder if he's on a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Look at that segue, Sally. Sally. I just moved right into it, didn't I? Real smooth. Blamo, 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 blamo. Yeah. Blame-o. Um, we got a lot of guests coming into town. Uh, they're going to be sleeping on a ghost bed. They're going to be real. Ooh, amped. Yeah. Not going to want to leave. Um, also want to give a, a shout out, uh, cause D'Anthony Holloway obviously moved to, uh, my co-host on drinking bros moved to Wilmington, North Carolina, and, uh, they just sent him a bed. He's got a new, uh, that is so 
Sweet. They're the best. It is the best mattress in the business. They're awesome over there, aren't they? The greatest, man. I, it's, uh, it's unusual that you work with um, people that you like or sponsors that you like for this long. And uh, uh, for real, like they're always genuinely try to help out. So. Are you going to see them in New York? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. You know, uh, we should take them to a really great Italian place. I know one in Times Square that is awesome. It is called Ooh, the Olive Garden. The Anakin. Yeah, there is an Olive Garden in Times Square. There is. And I, I feel real. like that one is got to be a little bit better. It's than not. The other I've one. eaten there. Oh, um, okay. uh, here's the thing. You know, here's a fucked up thing before we get into the rest of ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros. Um, I was in there doing a bunch of interviews and meet and greets and all that other shit. And I was on a diet. I ate there four days in a row because I just got salad. Mm-hmm. There is no better salad on the planet. That is actually true. At and the salad restaurant. dressing. Correct. Nothing better. Nothing better. So I, I, ironically, and I, I took a picture out in front of it. I was like, I'm at the Olive Garden Times Square. Best Italian in all of New York City. What do you? And I, I think I put hashtag, what do you, what do you want, want from, from me? me underneath I'm it? Italian. Um, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. You can eat salad right on the bed. Why? Because they got a cover that keeps pee, urine, Beep, salad beep. dressing. Salad dressing. Everything off that mattress. You can keep it clean. If you're military or first responder, you get 15% off forever. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. And their deals are unbelievable. I wear that Olive Garden dressing. Just as Oof. like a, if you did, a perfume. If you did, mm-hmm. do you realize how many boys that would bring to the yard? Bring to the yard. Yeah, yeah, Whew. yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that's, that, that's universal, by the way. Mm-hmm. That's, that's for everyone. There's a reason they sell it in Sam's Club, because it's that good. Yep. Um, <laughs> if you're a regular civilian like myself, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros and, and get a deal on uh, the bundle package. seven ninety nine up in that biatcha. Biatcha. Uh, $200 off a ghost bed, free pillows right now. And as always, 36 months pay as you go. No interest program. No one's offering that at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. No one. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Stradkas will be big on Sunday for us. Yes. That is Strike Force and Vodka. Um, yes. Everybody from the neighborhood's coming over. It is our child's, our second child's first birthday. Area 51st birthday. Oh, that like that, that should also be workshops. Um, what? Yeah, we should definitely work on all of your catchphrases. It's uh, not a catchphrase. It's somebody. actually the theme of the party. Stop it. Is that real? Yeah. You're doing an Area 51st birthday party mm-hmm. with aliens. And-, and the bounce house is a big green alien. <laughs> Are you being serious? Yes. <laughs> you didn't tell me this. I know. I was going to surprise you, but you talk <laughs> shit about my fucking name. So then I go full. Does anybody else in the neighborhood know this? No. Oh, my God. That's so He's fucking funny. He's a baby. Funny. What the fuck does he know? I can do whatever I want. Yeah. You can paint him like an alien. Yep. It wouldn't matter. Um, we're going to do something like this. Uh, God damn it. That's funny. So That's really funny. Yeah, so there's alien balloons, uh, caution tape, <laughs> keep out. Um, I actually just got a text from the people. I've never heard of this. People. Did you make it up? Yeah. Um, I got a text from the people. Can we drop off the bounce house a day early? Abs- uh, absolutely you can. Wow, really? And we're going like to have to do some kind of fucking... We're going to have to do something with it, mm-hmm. right? Wow, look at that. Uh, that's really funny, James. I am genuinely surprised and shocked at your creativity on that one. Seeing as how the rest of your catchphrases were completely terrible and should never be used by any human right. listening to this show and or their pets. Uh, Stratkas will be served at the first birthday party. Let's face it. It's not about the child when he turns one. It's about us. He has no friends and he's a loser. So, yeah. Well, he's a baby who doesn't talk and doesn't know anybody. Yeah. So it's, it's been hard for him to make friends. Because he doesn't talk. Because he doesn't talk. And, or know anybody. Or know anybody. Mm-hmm. Or, or leave the house that much. Yep. So He's still a baby. Still very much a baby. Just and, learned to walk. Yep. yep. Yeah. Like an alien. Yeah, I like it. Uh, the the, the Stratka will be strong. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com and uh, join up. Orange, Ridge, Grape, Lemon. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. They ship everywhere in the entire world, including Area 51. Uh, use the promo code revolution at strikeforceenergy.com for 20% off. Last but not least, 
This is what you came for. Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right, kids? Yeah, they do. They do. You know who could use the straight razor was uh, Burt Kreischer on that nutsack. You think? I would have shaved up before Ouch. doing that pick. Why? That's, that's a lot of hair. I want to at least amount. make my nuts look presentable, I think. You, you know? think the point was to be. No, it is. And I, I get it. You know? But yeah, uh, yeah man, yeah, I would have shaved yeah. up. I don't want to explain comedy I'm too vain. To Even my nuts are vain. You know? Right. Even my ball skin is, I, like, I feel vain about it. Where it's mm. just like, oh, no, I want to have, I wanna have a, a sweet ball sack. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I don't want to explain comedy to you, but. No, you I don't. I think, eh. You Again, I don't want to explain it to you. Again, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. But uh, mm. I might have painted like a like a jack o' lantern face on him. You know. There you go. That could be funny. Yeah. Um. Or like a Mars attack brain. You know, where it's just like the face and then oh, the that brains could be out. Fun. That yeah. would have been a flirty thing for my ball sack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what else is flirty? All of the products at straightrazors.com. dot com. Oh yes, they Very go on your fun face and flirty. And or balls. And uh, bushes. Bushes of any sort. Sure. Um, hedges. Hedges. Take it out to the hedge. Take yep. a straight razor to the hedge. They're that well, Also sharp, engrave guys. it. Get your father a kit. If you haven't heard from your dad in a long time or your grandfather. Uh, maybe that guy should who was sniffing the seat send it to his grandfather. Yep. Uh, go to straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. I want to talk about the big story, though. Biggest story maybe in the history of the world. Um, I am saddened that this was not around when I was in college. I feel like oh, I would have had a better college experience if this was around. Uh, last week on the show, we talked about Natty, Natty Lights mm -hmm. coming up with a new hard seltzer. Mm -hmm. Six, six proof, higher than White Claw. Right. Everybody said White Claw is now dead. Natty Ice will take over because it's higher and sure. uh, you're going to get fucked up faster. And then last night around midnight, because <laughs> I follow Four Loco, they drop the hammer. Four Loco has a hard seltzer that is 14%. Shut up. Come on. Kids are going to die. Killing kids again. That's great. Back in the killing of the kids business yeah. for Loco, and I love it. I Woo. love it. Is there any energy involved? Energy no, no. The there? FDA does not allow that anymore. Okay. Um, so, gosh, they will not learn, huh? Man, I. They just will not learn for Loco. Cannot get my hands on that fast enough. Sure. Because uh, the problem I have with. Either uh, can 14 year olds, yeah, and they will die. What's up? What'd you say? Either can 14-year-olds and they will die. Yeah. Meh. Look, you raise them with a strong hand, you know? You give them a rap on the beak when they need it, and, uh, you know, maybe they'll only drink a half can. There you go. But for me personally, uh, the doctor, the big guy, that's why I've never turned to the, the Truly and, uh, and the White Claw and all that stuff, because it, Not it takes... punch. Correct. It takes too many to get fucked up, where it's like, great, I don't feel like drinking 15 of these things cause so I could slightly feel a buzz. Sure. Now with Four Loco, we're cutting to the chase. Blammo. Yeah. It's, uh, you're good with one, I'd say. You've shown up at the house to watch Netflix, and you're not wearing a bra. You're right. cutting to the chase, right? Sure, sure, sure. That is what Four Loco is doing for the, the world and the country, and need it, kind of need it in my mouth hole, mm -hmm. because that is going to be spectacular. I love it. Uh, the flavor, by the way, was sour, too, and you know I get down on the sour shit. Oh, yeah. So... They are speaking my language, my language, Jabes. Uh, what do we got there? What? Little, uh, it's a little. Is that Brendan it's Fraser? A perfect size. If I'm sitting down. Oh my this god! Cowboy Fraser. It is Cowboy Fraser. Since my face is still not on the logo, um, that is your fault. Alec. Alec made me a little. Brendan Fraser. Present. Subscribe on YouTube so you can see this. Is there anything better? This it's, is my guy, by the way. It's Brendan Fraser, though, in that cowboy outfit that mm -hmm. he wore on the red carpet. Yep. Which was a huge mistake. Huge mistake, but I like it. Yes, you're a big fan. I, a big fan. The body type, the whole thing. Yeah. Everything about it. Yeah. This is my guy. I get it. Yeah. I get it. 
Um, now he's a, a permanent fixture on our set now. Mm -hmm. And this, this is your favorite Brendan Fraser, right? Yes. A little pudgier, older. I mean, my favorite favorite where I first fell in love with school t was uh, School Ties. Uh -huh. um, and then after that, you know, Encino Man didn't really do it for me. That kind of stuff didn't really do it. Mm. And then when he got kind of older and bigger. Mm -mm, mm -hmm, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm, when you, mm -hmm. you climbed on up. Yeah. Because I knew he was holding. He definitely had pills. Yeah. He was definitely partying. Uh, yeah. So uh, I get down. Yeah. I get down with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, B-Phrase. Little cowboy. B-Phrase parties. Shout out to Alec for making that. He made that for you. I know. Went to Kinko's. It was a $38 purchase. Uh-uh. And uh, yeah. We're going to have to pay him for that. What? We're going to have to pay him for that. 38 uh, Yeah. It's a nice purchase, though. A uh, nice little peck on the beak you just gave him. That's great. Sweet prince, yeah. Yeah. He's going to sleep down there. <laughs> Good night. Good night, sweet, sweet cowboy. Cowboy. Good night, little cowboy. Um, want to talk about uh, my university? It was one of the top stories um, this week as well, Jabes. For what? Obviously, I went to Ohio State University. How do I pronounce that? When I say Ohio State. The Ohio State. Correct. Um, they're trademarking the word the. They have filed a trademark for it. I didn't think you could do that. I like it and good for them, but uh, the word the or the is in every common sentence and every single daily use of language. Can you do that is what I wonder. No, and that's stupid. I, I don't know because they're, so they're, according to the, the, the patent office, right? You can do it. If it's defined by something or if somebody it is recognizable for what product you were using it for. So if they're putting it on hats, right? Sports hats with mm -hmm. the, the Ohio State colors and all that shit. I know what that is. And so do you. And you're not even a sports fan. Mm -hmm. Weird, right? So it's the Ohio State. That What are they? The word the. the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tough one, right? No? No. I don't know. Is it a tough one? No, it's not going to happen, but the publicity from trying, I guess, is good enough. Yeah. I wonder how many people are out there doing shit like that. Just trying to trademark. Words. Yeah. Uh, I remember the, when uh, the word three-peat was trademarked, and that was a big deal, and somebody had said it. But that's a different, that's like a different word. Like, you can't trademark a sight word that we've been using for Five million. I think you can. I think, yeah. We'll see. You can try we'll whatever see. you want. You can try to do whatever you want, right? Shit's getting weird out there, man. They're buying up, like, you know, space, like space real estate and shit like that. That's been going on for a while. You remember oh, the moon real estate? Yeah. That, was a, that was a thing for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Mars, they're trying to do that with now, where it's just mm -hmm. like, oh, hey, I fucking own this. No, you Mars, don't. You don't actually own a piece of Mars. Well, yeah. No, you don't. What? Yeah. This is what, this is what we're getting into now. I mean, Shit's going to get real fucking heavy, man. You're going to start pulling out the, the stops on everything. If they're bugging the Chrisleys. Then what's next? Right? What is next? Is well, it, if, if why they, do they have to bug them? They're because they're not TV filming. All the time. They're not oh. fil they're, yeah. I, I think to get their private conversations is what they were saying. You're, let's face it. You're not going to film them. They're not, they're not fucking. That man, they're not. They're not a, a husband and wife that has sex. No, no, no. He has sex with men, probably. Sure, 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 sure. Um, because he's straight. Super straight. Yeah. Straight for guys. Straight, straight into. <laughs> straight into guys' bedrooms. Straight yeah. into guys' jeans. Yep. Um, do we have, you have a crime corner today? I do. Do you really? I do. Crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. Uh, this is from Detective Chaz Belfield and ah. Burl Welch. Burl. Burl? Okay, two things. Big fan of the name Chaz. Always have been, always right. will be. Right. Um, and Burl. Well, well that's, and that's also a name. That's so also a, a name in the English language. Another, Trademark it, Burl. That's also another name, Burl. Trademark it. Which is great, buddy. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Woman found with meth in vagina claims it isn't hers. <sighs> Who's... That's it. 
No, I'm just well, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Whose was it? Pol- police in Louisiana. This is Louisiana, by the way. All right. You're still in the... Blamo, blamo. The South, yeah. Sure. Uh, say they found meth when they did a body cavity search on a woman who claimed the drug wasn't hers and she didn't know how it got there. Ah. Now listen to what was in the vagina that she did not know how it got there. The snooch? Huh? Uh, is it badger snooch? What are you calling it? Pussy. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Vagina. You know I only say vagina. Yes. So authorities say a female correctional officer found $6,233. Okay. Along with a clear plastic bag with roughly one gram of methamphetamine in her vagina. This was rolled up cash. Now the denominations were hundreds and then $33 in tens and fives and ones. Wow. Wow, so, that's a lot of cash. It's a to lot be of cash up rolled snooch. up, especially if it's not yours. Do yeah, you know what I mean, you don't know how it got there. No, that is a lot of stuff. Yeah, to magically, mysteriously, a big roll. Yeah, how how deep was her pussy? I wonder. Yeah, you gotta. It's standard. gotta be deep to fit something in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, medically they say it's about eight inches deep, right? Right, six. But it's not that six wide. Six to eight, yeah. Yeah, six to eight, depending upon the human, obviously. Sure. Um, let's say she was an eighter. Let's say she was, a, she was an ocho, right? Mm-hmm. It's got to be wide enough to fit all that in there. Well, it, That's a lot of cash. I'm not worried about the meth, right? I know you can stuff the meth up there. Sure, sure. That's not the issue. Yeah, but that, that much cash that up your cash, snooch is a lot. That cash is the issue. And her bond was set as eight, at 8000 Ah, so. so can't want, cover it. Well, I wonder if she, pu- she took that pussy money and then paid with that and then just asked somebody else for the 2K. Maybe. I don't think she gets to keep the pussy money, though. Why not? Because the police took it out of her. But it's... Oh, they did. They took it out of her. They found it in there. Okay. During the cavity search. Ah. I she wonder, though, arrested. if you said, hey, I lost my purse and I didn't have any place to put this. That's my money. Yeah, I don't think so. I would definitely. You do. They confiscate everything, anyways. I would ask. Sure. I would say, hey, that's that's my snooch money. You know, I want you. Uh, <laughs> why don't you give that back? Beep boop. Yep. Why don't you slide that across the desk? Beep boop. Detective Kavanaugh. <laughs> I need that snooch money back. I got eight k bond. I got six k in my snooch. Um. <laughs> My boyfriend's only got 2K at home and his Mr. T doll cut open and sewed up. He's got to rip that open, bring that 2K over here so I can get out of here. I got to hit these mean streets. Blamo, blamo. I've always been jealous of that, though. Of what? Uh, Women just being able to stuff things up themselves, you know, in a pinch. Right. That's a nice thing, and we've never had that option, really. We can go anal, I guess. Uh, but you can keister, but it's not the same. No, it is definitely not the same. It's dirty money, right? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> he it, way more uncomfortable. I would assume stinks. That I money do have stinks. one more too. You, what? I have one more. Go. Stop it. Go. Two crime corners Two in one day? Two crime corners. What day? What is it? My birthday? Crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. So a Brazilian drug trafficker tries to escape prison disguised as his daughter. And I'm going to need a picture of this because this is. Yeah. The picture the is show. everything. Yeah. yeah. Pictures everything. Um, so when visiting hours ended at a prison in uh, Brazil, Rio yeah. de Janeiro, a young woman made her way toward the exit mm-hmm. before guards took a second look and pulled her aside. Turns out she wasn't a woman at all, but a well-known male drug trafficker. Okay. This picture needs to be up the whole time. Um, Calvino da Silva was sentenced to seven, 73 years in prison. Drug charges. A long and time. And his escape plan, prison authorities told local media, was to have his 19-year-old daughter visit him. Mm-hmm. He dresses up as her, leaves her in prison, Ah. leaves, leaves as her. 
Okay. Whew. You sure. So, so it might have worked, Authority said, but the woman's air of nervousness signaled something was amiss. Um, wow. But he almost got away with it. I mean, again, this picture needs to be up the whole time. Tell me if you think he would have gotten really away. Yeah, write in the comments section on YouTube if, if you think he would have gotten away with this. Tell me if you would have stopped this creepy, creepy thing trying to get through Whew. or if you would let this one kind of pass pass you by wow. first it shows that uh the young woman with a long black hair wearing glasses and a pink shirt with images of donuts on it um and one of the guards takes off her glasses and lifts off the black wig revealing a really smooth head mm. um the person Peels off the pink shirt and bra, revealing a muscular male frame, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it's a silicone mask. Oh. It goes all the way over. Where did he get the mask? Uh, some kind of Tom, Tom Cruise store. You know where he always oh, is like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's no. like the, it's me. Yeah, yeah. Tom Cruise. So those, it's sort those of Tom like, Cruise store is pretty big now. Yeah, where yeah. you get these kind of weird masks. He's, he, He's been in a couple of movies where he wears weird masks. No, I know, I know what you're talking off. about. So, um, hmm. um, yeah, if you want to maybe just pop over and are you seeing anything in front of you or you're not looking? No, I'm going to oh. save this until after the show because this one's too good that I'm going to need my own peepers on it sure. uh, for a long period of time. Uh, sure. That's crazy, man. Again. The picture is as everything. everything yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I, turn it toward me. Turn it toward me over here. Let me see. There it is. Ah, I would have bought it. I would have bought. I would have bought that as a little girl. <laughs> kind of looks like a uh, a young uh, blossom, if you will. You know, more like six, but yeah. Either way, that was that's very close. I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I, a good quality mask, by the way. Like I, I said, that Tom Cruise store has yeah. really good stuff. I think that's a good one. I was expecting worse. Okay. You were not. If you were just breezing through uh, really quick, it's you know, very creepy. It's a really, really creepy way to do it. Mm -hmm. And if you do actually watch the video, you guys, of them taking off the glasses and the wig and revealing the whole thing, super creepy. Very creepy. But good try, I say, right? I say that's a really like, good try. It's like, do whatever you have to do. In the comment section on YouTube, yeah, right there. Because I'm, I am actually, I think it's a really great effort. Actually. Yeah. That's yeah. really. And a really good idea. The only thing, you know, you leave your daughter in jail, but I yeah, guess but they eventually, won't keep her. Exactly. She's going to be like, hey, you've got the wrong person. Right. And they're like, yeah, sure. Yeah. It's Brazil. And I keep so. her in, a, mm. in an all men's prison. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's weird. Until he comes back. You know, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure how that works down there. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Um, yeah, the only thing I know about Brazil is, is uh, the meats. You know, the meats on a stick. Those, yeah, very big. Those Brazilian restaurants where they bring the sticks of meat on there and you get to cut a little piece off. You just meat up, you know? You get the meat sweats. I think you're confused, but yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Very Brazilian. Uh-huh. Very Brazilian. Yeah. Totally. Everybody knows. Everybody's meat. Samba. I feel like I went to a restaurant called Samba one time and it was just, hey, here's a stick of meat. What would you like? Chicken, steak, pork? Fogo de chow, I think is. Is that what it is? I think it's Brazilian, right? Ah, who knows? No who way to, knows? No way to check. Who knows? Super fancy, though. Um, Really, really fancy. Uh, this story is kind of weird, by the way. Uh, Elizabeth Warren has tied Joe Biden for... The Democratic side not for Burn running. Dog? No, not Burn Dog Millionaire. Wow. Bernie has come out and said, hey, this media coverage has been super unfair and I feel like they don't want me to win again, same as last time. And that assumption, Bernie, you'd be right. Um, that they don't want him to win. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, could you imagine if it was Trump yeah, versus Elizabeth Brazilian. Warren? Right. Um, oof. How crazy would that be? It would be crazy. Is that what we're looking at? Maybe, huh? I don't know. And the reason why uh, is Biden has gone out, you know, he's on the campaign trail and he's fading fast. He's fading. He's making a lot of mistakes. And that's what I told you would happen. Yeah. He's, he's not going to, he's going to mess up, yeah. you know, his, 
uh, inherent, you know, the racism that's deep, deep down inside is going to poke out every once in a while, right? I mean, the, look, the comments he said the other day about the, um, you know, poor... Poor people. Poor, poor children are poor just as children good as white is children. Just as good as white children and... Small misstep. Blammo. Yeah, a small misstep. And right there, blammo. Yeah. So, yeah. But, if, but if, that's what I said. I go, talk to any other 80-year-old in your life. Yeah. Stop one on the side of the road. If you see someone looks 80, stop them and try and, ha- try and have a conversation. Have a combo, yeah. Just a, a real fast back and forth. The other thing about it, too, is when you're out campaigning across the country in this heat, and you've got to wear suits, because you can't, you know, you no, can't this roll is what up happened in... with Hillary, too. Yeah. You I mean, can't roll up in a pair of jorts. crumpled. Yeah. yeah. A candidate can't roll up in a pair of jorts and uh, no. some combat flip flops no. and just say, hey, man, you can't, you can't let's have wrap. Your, uh, hey, kids, let's go to the park shirt. Nope. You can't have, you know, a little biker's hat. No. <laughs> a little messenger hat, bike messenger hat. So when you said biker's hat, I was picturing <laughs> like, uh, like the spinning. Like a skull cap. Oh. You know, the spinning thing like a Pee Wee's Big Adventure, you know? Why would that be a biker's hat? A uh, bicycle, you know, like a bicycler. Yeah, no, but those look like... You're talking like, about hog riders. No, I'm talking about real... Riders on little, hogs. But, no, little, <laughs> little, little bike. You know those like hipster with like the little brim yeah, yeah. hat? That's, yeah. Bicy- yeah. that's for bicyclists. Oh, oh, bicycle. Okay, I got you. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the, the little shorter hat for the bicycles. Um, I mean, the uh, motorcycles, you know? <laughs> Uh, those little guys. The shorter hats from... Yeah, you know, the little small ones. The leather kangos, is that what they're called? No. No, no, it's not. Can't be. Jamie, every suggestion you've ever given has <laughs> been it's absolutely wrong. terrible and wrong every <laughs> single time. Anyway. Uh, a leather kangol was what LL Cool J used to wear. Definitely not a motorcyclist. No. Yeah. No. No. But I'm glad we got onto this because I know because it's we, a topic that's near and dear to my heart. And that's bicycles and, and the men who sniff them after their grandfather's ride to our them. heart and things that we know lots about. I yep. love when we get on topics where we both know nothing. Eh, do we it's or don't fun, we? Huh? Do we or don't we? Uh, we don't. We definitely <laughs> don't. And you actually in turn hate people that are that even ride bikes. All by, by the way, all, all of them pretty much. You know, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motorcycle, Anybody? yeah. No, uh, motorcycles are fine. Yeah, they're um, okay. Uh, but bicycle, bicyclists is my biggest pet peeve in this life. I think they're called bikists? Uh, beak, beakist, I think they're called. I think it's a bikist, yeah. And so... Cyclist. Uh, all the way around. Not good with any of it. And every single time I'm on a road and they're out there treating it as their own, um, I don't want them to be alive anymore. Anyways, the point was that Biden can't show up in bike... Cyclist gear, mm-hmm. breathable wicking shirt, you know? Yeah. He's got to wear a suit. And yeah. He will crumple. And as did him, Hillary. I mean, she literally f- fell. Fell. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. She fell crumpled. down. Crumpled. Yeah, yeah, she fell she down. Crumpled many yep. times. Yep. So this. Under the heat and pressure. This, uh, this summer, it's going to be a cruel summer. It's going to be a cruel summer. Cruel summer. For Biden, because he's got to keep cruising around, getting gearing up for that that's, uh, next debate in the fall. And it's like, man, we are still, even if he makes it through this gauntlet, right? Mm-hmm. We're still 14 months away from the election. Like, how does he how hold up? How many vaguely racist things can he say before that? Don't know. I'm guessing a lot. I don't know. As it gets hotter, I used to the feel brain just scrambles. Pretty confident about out. who I thought was going to win, and I don't. I don't anymore. I really don't know who's going to come out of that side. Yeah, I mean, we know who's going to win, but we're saying who's going to come out of the de- Democratic side to challenge. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we know who's ultimately going to win. Yeah. Yeah. If the economy doesn't go into a recession, Trump wins easily. But mm-hmm. uh, out of that other side, man, I don't know, and it just keeps getting weirder. It seems. Uh, so if something happens to Biden and you're down to Elizabeth Warren and Bernie, oof, yikes. And again, we are Yobly. ruling out Marianne, right? Who? Oh, Marianne Williamson. 
Man, are we saying she's not ruling no herself ch- out? No, she's not. And neither is Oprah. No, Oprah's with her. Kim Kardashian's with her. So watch out. She's out there doing this shit. Watch out. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day. Sh- shall, shall we, James? We, we shall. Is it some kind of bicyclist? It's not a bicyclist. Cycle. Nope. Bikist. Nope. Not a bikist Cy- either. Cycle. Cycler. Cycler. Yep. Uh, those people who do it in their apartments, Peloton people. Love it. Same here. Congratulations. Good for you. When I we see like when, I, when I go to someone's house and I see a Peloton in there, all I think to myself is you're a great person that you're I don't yourself see out of my your lane. stupid bullshit yep. on the road. Yep. Thank you very much. And I hope your trainer, your robotic trainer or whoever it is on the screen is giving you the workout you need um, because you're not getting it out in these streets and nope. you could die. Yep. At the hands of someone like me. <laughs> yeah. Any moment I have a bad day, look at the wrist. Boom. The bike, blah, 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 bike, yeah, goes uh, toppling over. The cycler, cycler, um, bikeist, b- uh, beaker, big job. Um, revolution figure today. This one, I, I want to give it out to the show, the TV show Jackass. Um, okay. th- that was to me the craziest fucking show I've ever seen when it first came on, and yeah, um, definitely. Their Bam Margera is going through some really hard shit right now. I think it's got to be a CTE situation, right? I don't know. <laughs> um, but the reason why I'm giving it out to that show is when you go that hard on a show like that, and I never, me personally, seen anything like that. Um, and I got to see the, the pilot that didn't air, which was even crazier in the show and the movies, which is impossible to believe. Mm-hmm. Um, it's so inventive and new and... At, at, for that time, right? That I think they went too fucking hard. And now most of them, it seems like, are having problems right now. Bam Sitch, uh, he got arrested again. This is why mm-hmm. I bring it up. And this is like literally the fourth time in like two weeks. And he's actually supposed to be in rehab right now. Yes. And uh, it's just sad. I think because there's video of the arrest and stuff. And it's just sort of sad because you're seeing someone that has a serious problem and possibly I'm not joking a brain something wrong in the brain something somebody else told me that it was he's still not over Ryan Dunn's death um which was his best friend right but, but I think at this point uh, you know also on jackass obviously but yeah at this point I, there's something more and you can kind of see it in his eyes and stuff too yes. so there's something else uh that that happened that does happen I think when you uh bang your head around for a living and i think a lot of people will tell you that's true yeah and hopefully he gets the help he deserves because that that it would be sad if he died um unfortunately that's the way it looks like i, I don't see it any looks other outcome like it's going but uh i yeah, but yeah. that's sh- and the reason again why i'm, I'm making that show and him and th- those guys like dude i watched all of that shit um and when I saw these videos that he was posting before the arrest and everything else, as I follow him on Instagram, man, it doesn't, something's off. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know that he'll be funny. here that, that, that much longer. And God damn it, he was great. That show was great. Um, and so uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, Steve-O, I thought, was another one. I thought he was gone. Uh, he cleaned oh, up his life. He's the most cleaned up of all of them now. Crazy. Crazy, like and they're supposed to be friends with Doctor Drew and shit. By the way, there's supposed to be a fourth one. There's supposed to be a fourth movie, and everybody's agreed to sign on, but they can't figure out what's going to happen with Bam. So yeah, because you don't want to see that. Like, I don't want to see Bam doing crazy shit because it's not cute anymore. Something's wrong with him, right? So do you get him to sign off on not being on it? I think that'd be the only way because I don't want to see him on it. I don't know I what that looks sad. like without Dunn and Bam, though. Well, it's Knoxville, Steve-O. Steve-O, who's not really doing, well, I guess he's doing crazy shit. And then the other two guys, and I, I almost, and Dave. The e- English guy? Yeah. Dave English. Dave England. Um, uh, and then but let's there's face like it, a couple of the guys that guy. popped and the Party Boy, obviously. But Party yeah. Boy did all that shit with Bam, so like, you know, they had their own show, and, oh shit, he had a show with Steve-O. All those shows I watched, man. I, dude. Yeah. Remember all that shit Bam's house that was fucking crazy? With uh, April and then, the, you know, his father. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. man, that was the jam, dude. I used to watch that shit. Viva La Bam. I used to watch that shit every fucking, 
every single week religiously. Um, I'm sad because he was the hottest one too. I don't know. I would have gone Knoxville probably, right? Knoxville is the classically hottest one. Okay. Gotcha. Like he's like obviously, and he like won't do anything to his face and like he keep you know, yeah. he's the. Well, he's the face of the, exactly. the franchise. So, so yes, of course he's good looking. Of course he is. Either way, man, I, I hope he gets the help that uh, he needs and um, this doesn't end tragically, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, either way, James, fun show. Fun show today. Blamo. You were on fire today with catchphrases that will never go anywhere. Sad boy fall in Area 50 first birthday. That one I love. And, uh, <laughs> you we'll- didn't love it before. I, You're talking no. shit, and that's why I had to reveal. Uh, well, until you said Area 50 first birth, like 50. Then I was like, all right, cool, I'm in. I'm in. And we'll share pictures of that on the Instagram and, We're and Facebook. Have to. Yeah, because that's kind of amazing. Uh, and the fact that no one knows is really funny. Yeah, they're just going to walk into Area 51. Uh, <laughs> and that, that'll be fun for our neighbors and friends who just think they're going to a really chill calm barbecue <laughs> it is going to be filled with alien stuff <laughs> green jello shots uh looking forward to it please bye thank you for my service uh it is out now so and thank I can you make... to those who have because yes we by are... the hardback uh so i can make the new york times bestseller list and enjoy a fine meal at Olive Garden and not be hashtag sad boy fall. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.